we're very quick in the progressive lefty culture to knock SSRIs and other uh, pharmaceutical industry compromises of, say, MDMA. On the other hand, I wonder if fear and anxiety reducing drugs of that sort are the stealth backdoor way to change this sort of aggressive, closed-minded, fear-based American consciousness. That sure, I mean, if I had my druthers, I would, you know, have people doing E or something in a controlled setting. Well, maybe not E, because there's some problems with that one. But you know, to find a salvia or some good drug, you know, in a controlled setting with the right people. You know, get Stan Groff to come up with some great pamphlet that can be distributed to the Boy Scouts of America and have them sit in the tents and do this stuff in a proper way. You know rather than just say theater exercises, you know, have them do some good stuff. Um, but if, if that's too shocking, if we're too far into this kind of capitalist, corporate-driven, consumerist nightmare, if the truth of just how awfully our uh, historic ancestors, I mean, as Westerners, basically, you know, what we've done for the last four or 500 years to the rest of the planet, if seeing that all at once is too shocking for most people, which it probably is, um, that maybe unraveling it from the present is a better way to do it. You know, help people see, okay, why are they taking this mortgage on this place? Why do they want to be in a secure zone? Why are they afraid of this black person? You know, unravel it back slowly and gently rather than in these sort of shocking, you know, five minute to eight hour sessions. Um, it, would, it, it might be an easier way. I mean, I thought the internet was going to do that, you know, foolish me, you know, the experience of hypertext and going online and seeing all the other people. But by the time most people got to the internet, it was already the World Wide Web strip mall. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that, that zone anymore. But um, I don't think that, that psychedelic sessions for mass culture are really going to do it. And I, I'm continually amazed and disappointed at the fact that people can do the same drugs I did and not see the same things I did. That they could still end up in the parking lot of the heavy metal show going, Aah! you know, as their psychedelic experience, you know, and not come to any conclusion about violence and pollution and the way the world is connected. I mean, people, you can just, they can drop acid and still just see it as a party drug, you know, from their frame. So a drug alone doesn't, doesn't do it. You know, the set and setting really are a large part of it. And I think most people don't have, um, don't have a set that's really capable and don't have access to a setting and probably won't. I mean, does that mean Daniel is right? that these kinds of things are, you know, led by elites? Maybe, uh, but, you know, you go to Burning Man. You know, I'm sure you have, and you've probably shot there, you should. I mean, what is Burning Man, finally? You know, it's a bunch of people who have the money and resources to get out there and keep themselves going and take a week or two off from work and have that, um, have that wonderful party. Um, and I just don't see that's, I mean, it, it, it was a great place to model a few behaviors, but that's not where it happens. It happens here. What are you willing to do for your neighbors for free, for social currency instead of real currency? And when are you willing to, to start giving it up?